Hi and welcome back. Uh, today's chat is about um, Marville and his history. As many of you know who lived around Marville, the area was littered with history. <coughs> Excuse me, you only had to take a walk in the woods and you could find um, old helmets, maybe bayonets, uh, this, that and the other laying around, even bones, uh, dead soldiers occasionally. The uh, history of Marville goes back way before even the, uh, the Romans arrived. Their Germanic tribes incurred into the area. Uh, Gauls were fighting them and, and uh, each other. Uh, the uh, Lorraine Assassin area was under the control uh, various times of the Gallic tribes and then the French. It's been back and forth for the last 2,000 years or more. Um, then the Romans came along <coughs> excuse me, and uh, uh, put an end to that. They uh, did some excursion into into the uh, the Germanic held areas and basically found nothing there of interest and uh, built a wall uh, that stretched from the coast all the way past Marville. Uh, then they built roads and aqueducts um, uh, and such into the area. Marville itself was built up as a trading center. Uh, for the Romans, probably mail or armor, um, food stuff from Italy was coming into there. Uh, tradesmen were, were living in the area. So the population had about 50,000 people, which was pretty good for that time. And it probably remained that way from about 70 AD building up to 410. Now 410, the Romans pulled the plug, the Roman army left and went back to Italy, left Europe. That would have done a lot of damage to the Marvel area, the same as it would have done when we left in 67. Um, the population probably would have dwindled, probably um, some of them might have even gone to Constantinople, uh, which is known as Istanbul today. Uh, Constantinople became the new trading center and uh, maybe some packed up their bags and moved to that area. Uh, moving on down the road, um, the Black Plague uh, would have been the next uh, influencer, 1430s or so, uh, killed off 50 to 100 percent of the population in Europe, in which case Marville really suffered. Uh, there's a church in Marville that I used to check out occasionally, and you could look in the windows and see all the bones that were piled up there. The skulls were over here, the thigh bones were over here, the monks were hanging up over here. Uh, I noticed on my last trip back a couple of years ago that the windows had been boarded up, um, uh, which is kind of too bad. <laughs> it was kind of interesting to check out. Um, after 1430s, the Black Plague, um, the population probably would have gone down to below 10,000. Uh, and then uh, the next big effect would have been, uh, uh, of course, the English excursions uh, into the area. Uh, between 1430 and uh, right up to, uh, say, the 1500s or 1600s. Uh, and then came along World War I, which uh, gave us a, a war that killed millions of soldiers along the area. Marville would have suffered greatly in that. And World War II, World War I might have seen the first air base in the, uh, near Marville, um, uh, where we, which we used as NATO, I'm not too sure exactly when it was first built. Uh, World War II definitely was used because Goring's son uh, is buried there. There's a monument uh, testifying to his death that was at the end of the runway. I didn't see it on my last trip. Maybe it's uh, not there anymore. Maybe it still is. Um, but, uh, yeah, it was really built up again as a military fortification in World War I, or at least World War II. And, and then, of course, uh, the Canadians came along and occupied it until 67. Um, uh, when I was there, Marville town in the area was, was pretty peasant-like. You know, the cows and the chickens were living in the same house as the people. Uh, it wasn't, it was, um, the effects of World War II were still sort of being fecked in the population. Uh, you know, the, uh, the uh, France hadn't joined the EU, it didn't exist at that time. And um, I think things might have picked up uh, after France joined the EU in the in seven, was 73 or 74. And, uh, but before 74, with us leaving, 
definitely the Marville town and the, along Yon and the areas would have suffered from the, the lack of trade and the monies that we put into the economy. Um, finally, uh, we have, uh, from you might say, from the early 80s till the present time, uh, where Marville Base has been cleaned up and, and become a trade center. There are lots of nice new houses around the back, I noticed. Uh, uh, PMQs is looking really good. In fact, it looked better than when I was there. Uh, the Canadian flag is still flying there. I don't know who puts it up, but it looked great. And, um, yeah, the whole area looks probably as good as it did, or probably as good as it has since the Roman occupied the area uh, in 410. So it's really picked up and looks pretty nice, and I hope it stays that way. Okay, that's your life for today, and I hope to see you next week at uh, the same time. Take care. Bye-bye.